Hi, boys and girls. Let's read Everyone a Child Should Know. Written by Claire Heath White. Illustrated by Jenny Brake. If you are interested, this is where you can get a copy of the book at ten of those dot com. See it right up here, boys and girls. Ten of those dot com. Everyone a child should know. In this story, we'll learn about some of the men and women who God has changed in the last two thousand years. In this book, we'll meet people from all walks of life who wanted to live for Christ. They are missionaries, martyrs, writers, reformers, politicians, poets. They are sporty people, artsy people, brilliant people, and very ordinary people. Their stories can inspire us and show us that we too can do amazing things for Jesus. Every time we read from this book, we'll pick out three people we'll learn from. Today, we'll learn about Brother Andrew, Augustine, and Gladys Aylward. Brother Andrew, born in 1928. What do you like most about going to church, boys and girls? What do you like most about Bible stories? Singing? Meeting friends? Did you know there are some countries in the world where Jesus' friends aren't allowed to meet together or read the Bible or tell other people about Jesus. When Brother Andrew found out how hard it was for people in those places to be Jesus' friends, he wanted to help. Jesus' friends needed Bibles to read. But how could he get Bibles into those countries? He knew it would be difficult, and he knew it would be dangerous. But he knew that his friend Jesus would look after him. Time after time, Andrew took cars stuffed with Bibles into countries where Bibles were not allowed. There were soldiers and spies and secret police. It was difficult. It was dangerous. Time after time, Andrew's friend Jesus looked after him and the Bible. Time after time, soldiers and spies and secret police didn't notice all the Bibles stuffed into the cars. Time after time, carloads of Bibles reached Jesus' friends. In some of those countries, it is now safe to be Jesus' friends. But there are still lots where it is not safe at all. It is still difficult and dangerous to help Jesus' friends 
in those countries. But Brother Andrew and his friends are still helping. And their friend Jesus is still looking after them. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, 1. Boys and girls, would you like to see a photo of Brother Andrew? Here he is. Boys and girls, if Brother Andrew could talk to us, he would probably tell us what he has told many others, that the Bible is full of ordinary people. These ordinary people went to impossible places and did wondrous things simply because they decided to follow Jesus. So let's be obedient in all that we do to follow Jesus. Imagine the wonderful things you can do through Christ. Boys and girls, your parents can show you a short video about Brother Andrew on this website where you can learn more about him. Brother Andrew is the founder of Open Doors. This is his website. You see it right up here? Open Door. Up here is the website address if you are interested in learning more about him. The second person we will learn about is Augustine. Augustine lived 354 to 430 AD. Boys and girls, BC stands for before Christ, but AD stands for a Latin phrase, Anno Domini, in the year of the Lord, the year Jesus was born. So Augustine lived in A.D. Do you ever get told off by your teacher or by your mom? Do you sometimes not do what you are told? Some children find it easy to be good. Some don't. Augustine didn't find it easy to be good. He enjoyed doing naughty things. His mother was Jesus' friend. But Augustine wasn't. He was having too much fun to bother with Jesus. He took things that weren't his. He didn't do what his mother told him. He thought this was funny. It made his mother sad. She asked Jesus to show Augustine that the things he did were wrong. Augustine grew up. He still did naughty things. He still made his mother sad. She still asked Jesus to help. Sometimes Augustine felt bad. Being naughty wasn't always fun, but he didn't want to stop just yet. Then one day, he was in the garden. He heard a child say, pick it up and read it. But there was no one there. What could it mean? Then he saw his friend's Bible on the ground. He picked it up 
and read it. He read that Jesus could forgive him for all the bad things he had done. He read that Jesus could help him stop doing bad things. He became Jesus's friend. His mother was so happy. Even though he had been a naughty boy, Augustine became one of the world's most famous Bible teachers. Jesus can change anybody. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me. For you, Lord, are good. Psalm 25, verse 7. Wasn't that wonderful, boys and girls? Let's work hard to be obedient. You can do remarkable things for God. The last person we'll learn about for now is Gladys Aylward. Gladys Aylward lived from 1902 to 1970. Are you good at lots of things or a few things? Or do you feel just ordinary? Gladys Aylward was just ordinary. She was not very clever, just ordinary. She was not very rich, just ordinary. Her job wasn't special, just ordinary. She worked as a maid in a rich home, tidying and cleaning. But Gladys had an extraordinary friend, Jesus. And she wanted to go to China to tell people there all about him. But no one wanted her to go to China with them. They thought she was too ordinary. So Gladys went on her own. With the help of her extraordinary friend Jesus, Ordinary Gladys did some extraordinary things. She ran a hotel in the middle of nowhere and told Bible stories to the travelers. She worked for the government inspecting feet. While she checked their feet, she told the people all about her friend Jesus. She stopped prisoners fighting in a prison. She looked after more than a hundred children who had no one else to love them. When war came to China, she kept her children safe from danger by walking with them for days and days and days across the mountains to escape the fighting. Gladys had some extraordinary adventures. Some people thought Gladys was too ordinary. But Jesus didn't. Jesus can help his ordinary friends like you, me, and Gladys to do extraordinary things for him.
for the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the humble with victory. Psalm 149 verse 4. Would you like to see a photo of Gladys Aylward? Here she is. So, boys and girls, she was a missionary to China for many, many years. She ran an inn where she would entertain her guests with stories from the Bible. Gladys also took in children into her home. She had an orphanage with about a hundred children. Boys and girls, Gladys was an ordinary person, just like you and me. But she did extraordinary things for God. Think about it. What important things would you like to do for God? You can do it. The Bible tells us in Philippians 4.13 that you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. You are very attentive listeners, boys and girls. The next time we read from this book, Lord permitting us, I'll tell you all about Johann Sebastian Bach. May God bless you, boys and girls. See you next time.